Welcome to Rex. In this video, we'll be learning about how to perform matching using Rex. Matching is a statistical technique that is commonly used when evaluating the effect of a treatment. Researchers match data in the experimental and control groups so that there is an equal distribution of confounding variables among each group. Let's first take a look at our data. The following data was obtained for 185 experimental groups from the National Supported Work Demonstration, as well as 429 control groups from the current population survey. The individual's status, where 1 indicates the experimental group and 0 indicates the control group, the individual's age, their highest level of education, and whether or not the individual was Black or Hispanic. Additionally, we obtained the individual's marriage status, whether or not the individual graduated high school, and finally the individual's income in US dollars during the year 1974, 1975, and 1978. Let's say we want to match the data from these experimental and control groups. In order to run our analysis, we can go to Advanced and click Matching Analysis. We'll first be using this variable tab to define the treatment group and the explanatory variables. For the treatment group, we then select one of the levels as the treatment level of interest. As we can see, the headings in the first row of the Excel datasheet are displayed under all variables. We can use the arrow buttons to add or remove variables from each option. Let's first set the individual's group status, treat, as the treatment group. We will set 1, as in the experimental group, as the treatment level of interest. Next, we will select the variables that indicate whether or not the individual was Black, Hispanic, married, and whether or not they graduated high school, as our categorical explanatory variables. Finally, we will set the individual's age, their highest level of education, and their income during the year 1974, 1975, and 1978 as the continuous explanatory variables. Next, we go to the Analysis tab. We can use this tab to select the matching method, the distance type, and whether or not to discard observations. Today, we will use Rex's default options, which uses the nearest neighbor matching method, uses the propensity score to match the data, with a logistic link function, and also keeps all unmatched observations. Next, let's go to the Details tab. In this tab, we can select from a variety of restrictions. Today, we will select to perform matching with replacement. Next, we will select Treatment as the criteria to classify subgroups. We will use a 1 to 1 matching ratio which pairs up to one control unit with each treatment unit. And finally, we will make sure the match starts from the largest propensity score. Finally, let's go to the Output tab. In this tab, we can select the statistics and the plots to output. Additionally, we can use the Export section to export statistics directly into our datasheet. Today, we will select to output the number of matched pairs. Then we will select to output the balanced test results, and we will select to apply matching with replacement. We will also output a QQ plot, a jitter plot, and a histogram for our data. Lastly, we will select to export the matched pairs directly into our Excel sheet. Now that we are done setting up our analysis, we click OK. Once the analysis is complete, we can see that the matched pair showed up in a new column in our Excel datasheet. Additionally, a window pops up with the results. Let's take a look at our results. The Analysis Results section displays the number of matched and unmatched observations. Here, we can see that fewer control observations were matched as compared to the experimental observations. This was because matching with replacement was performed. The standardized mean difference, or SMD, is a measure of effect size used to assess the balance of the experimental and control groups before and after matching. The closer the SMD is to zero, the more balanced the experimental and control groups are. 
In this example, we can see that the SMD values significantly decreased after matching, which indicates that the experimental and control groups were more balanced. Next, let's take a look at our graphs. Here, we can see a jitter plot and a histogram, which each show the distribution of propensity scores for the treatment and control groups before and after matching. The nearer the two distributions mimic one another, the better our matching is. Looking at our graphs, we can see that the distribution of propensity scores of the matched treatment and control units are very similar in both graphs, indicating that the matching was done well. Overall, as we have seen in this video, we can use RECs to match data from experimental and control groups. Thank you for watching today's video in Statistical Analysis in Rex Pro. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Rexoft's YouTube channel for more informational videos on statistics, data, and how to use Rex.